Hi, I'm Leslie Wolf Kreutzfeld, Executive Director of the China US Women's Foundation. Welcome to Sage Live. With me today at the China Institute is Guo Jen, um, a leading, uh, well known female artist originally from China, living now in New York. Um, and thank you for uh, being here today. Nice to meet you. Um, I'd like to um, discuss with you. Um, how you used your art to help overcome personal problems stemming from your childhood and coming to the States. Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, um, I think art is really a good tool, really, too. If you have a problem that really can help you to overcome. Like uh, I said before, uh, in my previous life, I did have some problem with uh, my uh, identity. I sort of uh, lost my identity um, by, you know, by living and um, and, um, and how do you say that? <laughs> and like, through your art, you were able to find yourself again. Is that what you mean? Yes. Um, actually, as I said before, I stopped painting for. For a while, because I think the either art or life uh, betrayed me. Like I used to believe the world that uh, everything things will be turned out to okay. Like uh, you know, you have a problem. If you are working on it, you have faith on it, then that will be okay. But I I think I work very hard toward that direction. But in the end, life will betray me. Like uh, um, sort of like uh, my marriage falling apart. But I also put my whole being working on that marriage, and um, I wish I was hope that you know we have have the future together. That's why I put all myself in there, like my gener uh, my um, older generation and um, the knowledge that I learned from the um, Chinese tradition that uh, us women supposed to be take care of the family, take care of the man that you married to. And take care of the parents, take care of almost everything. That the only thing they left out is take care of yourself. So I did everything uh, for another um, for other people, but in the end, I got nothing. I lost I lost almost everything. Like I don't have family, I don't have kids, I don't have mar marriage, I don't have money. Like all the money I give to those people, and uh, my life feels come to the end. I was so depressed. I was, um, you know, on the age of life and death. Um, so I stopped painting uh, for for a while because when I, even that before I was painting, I painting for to make money to to support those people, and I thought that including the art also betrayed me. Betrayed me. Then later, um, by working and uh, also my my colleagues. And talk to me, and uh, because I live here, I live in America. There, are, in America, I think uh, the people get an earlier education to tell them you have to have yourself, you have to stand on your, you know, ground. So I gradually, I it's opened my eyes. I realized that so my pain is uh, not a um, single, um, single. Um, uh, actually, it's like uh, involved with uh, all all women. You now I look around the world, the in Middle Eastern woman and uh, African woman, and, um, Asia woman, they all suffering, and um, especially it's, uh, educated in the countryside. All those women, they have a big number of those people. They don't. They really. They, their life is. Mm really worthless for themselves. They really is working for all another beside beside herself. So in the beginning I try to dig out dig out the the pain inside me. That's why I paint the choking. Mm -hmm. I'm here, but you cannot hear me because I don't have voice. As a woman, we don't have voice. The the world, the society society, they cannot hear you. Because they're not you not they're not supposed to hear you. The, the whole culture they they build up is not to hear women. 
It's a, a woman is is not accountable. And I uh, also paint that, um, that my my poetry like uh, I was trying to scream, scream in the cage, and uh, there's only a little light coming in. There's nothing else around. So I paint. Uh, I open my body, show my heart. So I'm a good person. Why don't you see? Right? I did lots of work. I did lots of good things, but I'm still worthless. So from from those. Um, the uh, pr process, though, so gradually, I, I told myself I should overcome myself. I should stand on the, on the woman's ground. I was on a talk for women, you know. I, when I talk by myself, people think, oh, you look like so ugly. Why you, you know, yeah, you feel, I feel very uh, powerless. I tried very hard to show people this, this is what are my true feelings. But most people don't care. They said, "Oh, we, you know, apologize for what you have." So what? They walk away. But I think that we need to strong the voice. I need to strong the voice. I need to to learn all the women to open their eyes to say that we are human beings. We have we should have same equal opportunities in life. We should be accountable. You know, we did lots of contribution. We did lots of work. For the human race, we bear the, the basic, very uh, basic pain to to right? to have babies, to to make the world go in, and uh, we you know we are equally intelligent, you call it smart, mm -hmm. intelligent, right? But the, even you did lots of lots of these things, but the world they don't really count. You know, they take advantage. That makes me think of your image of the breasts that you've used on repeatedly to showcase basically that maternal uh, presence of the woman um, in the world. Right. I think the breast is uh, the most uh, recognizable part to represent women. From the beginning, we don't have breasts, right? When we were young, little, we don't have breasts. But when they start to grow, you, you feel pain and uh, you feel very uneasy, uncomfortable. Then when they start to mature, the word says, the main, main word says, oh, it's pretty, it's beautiful. But once you have baby, you have kids, they, don't, they think they start to, you know, it's not good anymore because, you know, it's um, not a, what do you say? It's, it starts to sag. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you get old, then nobody really, nobody really, can't, nobody really think anything yeah, like right. like that, but that represents woman, the whole life. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, finally, um, if you had to give advice to women today, starting out just like you did, what would you say now that you've experienced so much in your life? Um, I I would like to tell them, like I tell my daughter to never surrender yourself. Doesn't matter what kind of situation you're in. So always find yourself, always value yourself important. You are the most important person to yourself. You can create amazing things. You can do, you can help lots of people. You can do the things you might think you cannot do, but if you really dig yourself, get yourself together, concentrate, you can do anything you want, and uh, don't let anybody put you uh, put you down, and don't let the, anybody uh, say you cannot do this, you cannot do that. Doesn't matter you tall, you short, or you heavy, you thin, uh, you prettier, you you know you have characters. This all doesn't matter. Matters is in inner power. You have inner power. You can be very very much respect by the whole human race. Thank you so much. Those are wise words, Stan. I look forward to being in touch with you and following your next uh, artwork and series. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.